Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 5. I'm Ashley Afonso. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to attend this weekend's Great New England Air and Space Show. This is the first time in three years Westover is hosting this air show. More than 600 people gathered at the base today for the air show's traditional kickoff breakfast. One of the Geico Skytypers pilots told 22 News the challenges of preparing for the air show. It's the same exact routine. The only thing that changes is the ground points. So it's very precise and very specific, and that's really why we have the Friday rehearsal day, to get the ground points all set up and everything, and we just do our normal show. The Golden Knights parachute team and the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds also perform today. There will be more than 20 aerial demonstrations at this year's air show. And they're expecting a lot of people to attend the Great New England Air and Space Show this weekend. 22 News reporter Haley Crumbleholm joins us live from Westover. They'll be handling traffic. When the weather is nice, hundreds of thousands of people come out to the air shows at Westover. And this year, the base and the Chicopee Police Department are planning ahead of time, trying to make sure they can ease traffic as much as possible. This year, there will be five gates open to get into the air show. That's more than in years past. They'll also be opening the gates half an hour earlier this year at 8 a.m. with the displays opening at 9. The flying will begin at 11. Westover's providing shuttle buses for visitors who park in the furthest lots, and the base said they expect all lots to be full by 2 p.m. Chicopee Police Officer Mike Wilk said they'll have an additional 24 officers on patrol in and around the base, as well as officers patrolling on motorcycles and bicycles. According to the base, in previous years, the traffic increases dramatically on the roads outside of the base and in the parking areas after 11 a.m. Westover will provide traffic updates on their Facebook page. And people are advised to just be patient, taking into account traffic and security checks. It usually takes around an hour once you've gotten off the highway to get onto the flight line. In Chicopee, Haley Crumble Home, 22 News. And another one of the performers will be the Geico Skytypers, the vintage World War II planes, perform precision tactical demonstrations in air shows all over the country. And this weekend, people will enjoy their performances right here at Westover Air Reserve Base. And you can view that video of the Geico Skytypers over Springfield and Westover on our website, WWLP.com.